Good day, my name is Nikki Nansano, and today we will be presenting to you the saliva substitute drugs and the pancreatitis. Hi, I am saliva substitute and my brand names are Aquarol, Entertainer Secret, Moistir, Moistir Swabsticks, Mouth Coat, Numoisin, and Salivart. My chemical name is like this. My therapeutic drug classification is artificial saliva and my pharmacologic drug classification is used to treat digestive enzyme dysfunction and I belong to the pregnancy category A. My mechanism of action goes like this. The glycerin component serves both as a lubricant and as a delivery vehicle for water from the composition to moisten the mouth. The gum component provides further lubrication and serves a water retention function. Mixture consisting of protein or electrolyte that lubricate, moisten, and provide coating on oral mucosa used in absence of saliva. My pharmacokinetics is that there is no general systemic absorption. Electrolytes may be absorbed and built within normal electrolyte pathways. And now, let us proceed for my indications. I am indicated to manage off dry mouth and throat in serostomia and hyposalivation caused by stroke medication, including those that cause dysfunction of the salivary glands, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, Bell's pulse, HIV or AIDS, lupus, aging, emotional factors, hoarse voice, scratchy throat, salivary glands disorder, and other illness. And now, let us talk about my contraindications. I am contraindicated with patient who has hypersensitivity to carboxylmethylcellulose parabens components of the preparation. I must use cautiously to patients with renal failure, hypertension, and pregnancy. And lastly, I am contraindicated to patients who are fructose intolerant or pneumoisin lozenges. And now, let us talk about my side effects and adverse effects in every system of the body. First, in the integumentary system, I create rash, hives, itching, red, swollen, blistered or peeling skin with or without fever. Second, in the respiratory system, I develop wheezing, tightness in the chest or throat, and trouble breathing. Third, in the gastrointestinal system, I develop minor digestive problems, difficulty in swallowing, unusual hoarseness or swelling of the mouth, face, lips, tongue, or throat. And lastly, in other systems of the body, I altered speech and I develop abnormal taste. For the nursing responsibilities of the saliva substitute drugs, you must first assess the history of the patient. If he or she is allergic to carboxymethyl cellulose, parabens, or has a history of heart failure, hypertension, or renal failure. For the physical assessment, take the patient's blood pressure, pulse, auscultation, and edema. Also conduct a renal function test and mucosa evaluation. During the administration of the drugs, give it to patient who has dry mouth and throat. Second, have patient try to swish saliva substitute around mouth following application. Third, monitor patient while eating. Swallowing may be impaired and additional therapy required. After administration, educate patients on how to apply the drug as instructed. Instruct patients to use this drug as needed for dry mouth and throat. Third, instructing patients to take good care in eating because swallowing may be difficult. Additional therapy may be needed. Hi, I'm Pancreolipase. I'm also known as Prion, Pancrease, Pancreolipase, Pertzai, Viocase, and Zenpep. As for my chemical name, it is As for my drug classification, as for therapeutic, I am classified as digestant. As for pharmacologic, I am classified as pancreatic enzyme. As for my pregnancy category, 
I belong to pregnancy category C. As for my mechanism of action, I am used to replace deficiency of pancreatic enzymes. I am formed by a mixture of lipase, protease, and amylase, which are able to break down fat, protein, and starches, respectively in the small intestine. As for my pharmacokinetics, as for my absorption, distribution, and metabolism, I act locally in a GI tract and I am not absorbed in any significant amount. As for excretion, I am entirely eliminated in the feces. As for my indication, I am part of the pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy. This therapy is indicated for the treatment of pancreatic insufficiency attributed to cystic fibrosis, chronic pancreatitis, or any other medically defined pancreatic disease that might require it. Pancreatic diseases are associated with the deterioration of pancreatic parenchyma and the dual physiological functions of the pancreas. Once established, pancreatic insufficiency results in malnutrition, weight loss, and steatoria. As for my contraindication, I am contraindicated in patients with severe hypersensitivity to pork and in those with acute pancreatitis or acute exacerbations of chronic pancreatic diseases. Use cautiously to pregnant or breastfeeding women. For the side and adverse effects, for the GI, I cause nausea, cramping, and diarrhea. And for others, I cause allergic reaction. For the nursing responsibilities of pancreatitis charity, before administering the drug, assess and ask patient if he or she is allergic to pancreatitis, any other medications, pork products, or any of the ingredients in the pancreatitis tablets or delayed release capsules. Second, ask patients about his or her prescription and non-prescription medications, vitamins, nutritional supplements, and herbal products they are taking or plan to take. Third, ask patient if they have ever had surgery on their intestine or a blockage, thickening, or scarring in intestine. And if they have or have ever had diabetes, problems with blood sugar, gout, high levels of uric acid in your blood, cancer or kidney disease. Fourth, for female patient, ask patient if she is pregnant, plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. During the administration, prepare proper dosage and administration of the drug to the patient. Second is, assess patient's reaction to the drug and if any side or adverse effect is present. After administration of the drug, take this drug exactly as prescribed. Second is, the nurse should take note of the client as he or she may experience these side effects. Nausea, loss of appetite, Difficulty sleeping, depression, emotional lability. Third is, let the patient report nausea, vomiting, and GI pain. That will be all. Thank you and God bless.